So hi everyone, this is the jacket that I'm going to be showing you how to make. Thank you for clicking on the video and yeah, you can add whatever design you want. As I'm going to be saying in the video, you're going to need some camel brown polyester fabric. But yeah, fits perfect and is a nice tight fit. All in all, you can add whatever you want to it and here we are with the video guys. So hi everyone, you can see we're back here today to make our red hood jacket. First what you'll need is a pair of sharp scissors, that's really important, helps get clean lines. Then what I'm using is the brown well camel brown polyester fabric you can go for a darker color yes it is called camel brown polyester fabric and you can go a much darker if you want to purchase a leather jacket that's completely up to you if you want to go lighter or a completely different you know tone all in all I get mine in the paragon fabrics the link will be in the description below but this is five just layers or sheets of scrap fabric that I got you can go to local uh, seamstresses or fabric shops maybe they'll have scraps around but I take two layers of the scraps and easily just lay them down flat press it out and make sure it's flat and then what I'm going to do is use a cardigan so one of my cardigans you know it's just you can use anything a jacket a t-shirt I'm just using this to show you guys that you can actually use whatever item of clothing and then just slim it down change the size up slightly as long as it fits you and maybe you like the fit of it so what I'm going to do is just lay it down flat here press out the shoulders and the chest and then I'll start to fold in the arms so those arm curves I'll just fold in the sleeves into the shirt and then you'll get that nice arm curve you wanna maybe match them up so fold it over in half make sure on both sides that the arm curve shoulder to armpit line may match up unfold it and there you go this is going to be for our jacket base you can see I fold it over on the other side to make sure double check that and now both arm curves are even so the, the symmetry is always the best option to go you'll always want your pieces to line up and also to be even at best way to work from and yeah guys this is it we're going to cut around the base shape you can actually use this for many other different builds so if you want to like previously I did a green arrow jacket I'm going to be showing you how to make a star lord jacket there is many other different you know costumes out there if you want to go longer with this and make a Rorschach trench coat completely up to you guys but you can see I just cut around the ship I leave enough room at the sides for the seams and here we are with our jacket base so this is one and two sides this is the front and back and what we're going to do is actually sew these together yeah so I'm going to be using an industrial grade sewing machine you can hand stitch yours with a needle and thread or you can get a nice seamstress to do it if you know any contacts right now I'll fold it in half to make sure both sides are even and symmetrical you can just see here the shoulder lines slightly don't match up or the arm curves so I'll cut those to match on each side like I said before the shoulder lines make sure you know those are actually lined up again guys you'll always want to be working with matching pieces so it's all better for every everyone involved and yeah fold it over multiple times make sure it actually matches up then for the sleeves what we're going to be doing is taking another layer of the scrap and just laying down the cardigan sleeve so you can use a jacket a t-shirt a baseball shirt anything that fits you a nice coat but what we're going to be doing is copying and replicating the shape of the sleeve simple enough all it is is two sides of a slate rectangle or a diagonal rectangle shape so I lay down flat right here to make sure I have a good amount of length okay you'll always want to make sure you have a good amount give yourself extra it's easier to add to something than take away or it's easier to take away to add I always get that wrong I don't know why so you can see I've cut my one layer of the sleeve right now and then I'll actually take the jacket base and start to match up the arm curve so I want the arm curve the line from the armpit going up to your shoulder that you'll want to match up with your sleeve so right here I'll just place it on top and I just match it up again making sure my measurements are right and I have a good amount of length and then what I'll do is just start to cut that in okay so just start to cut a curve from your armpit up to your shoulder line and that'll give you a nice arm all in all so that's what's going to be going together we're going to be attaching the sleeve to the shirt base but you're going to be wanting four of these so four of the sleeves sew them together and you'll have both sides okay guys so this is actually just the, the, the sewing line that we're going to be doing I apologize for the hiccup but you'll want to get that nice line to match up in the arm curve again like I said we're going to be doing four of each or four sides so that's all two for each arm four sides all in all and that's it guys that's both your sleeves you can alter them design them up whatever way you want make them thinner bigger I eventually do thin these in but you can see two sides for each sleeve one and two 
they're going to be sewn together like I said and that will give us our nice shape all in all. Guys thank you so much for watching and I apologize for rambling on, here we are with the rest of the video. So now that you've got all your sides for your sleeves, again you can alter yours, make them thinner, but we have four sides all in all, sew these together and that'll be us guys. Honestly, this worked out a lot better than what I thought. I do alter and alter it in the later stages, I do thin in the shoulder line, but right here the arm curves match perfectly and we're just going to be sewing this all together. So I, as I said, I do alter it later on in the video, I kind of thin in the arm curves more to the shoulder and to my armpit so they actually line up a bit better to my body. All in all this can be made for a bigger build if you are of a bigger size. This is just both sides for each section, two sides for your arms, two sides for your front and back for the base. So think about it like that, It's you can make anything, any jacket guys, any process is no far out of your grasp. And for the zippers what we're going to be doing there's a variety you can see brown black blue all the different kinds if you look online or in your local art shop you can pick up some zippers separately what i'm going to be doing is going for a smaller one but this is the long brown ones that you can use if you're going for a darker leather shape i'm going to be using the shorter black zipper because in the red hood on the outlaws his jacket does come up to around his waist or his hip area you know it kind of does it is a bit short for a jacket but it looks so good i always love how it looks and you'll want to keep your scraps for later so all your scrap fabric you'll want to keep that for later on if you're going to be building what i'm going to be showing you guys so all this was made from a slight cardigan shape and here we are sewing everything together what i'm using is an industrial grade sewing machine which cost a couple of hundred pounds but again you can pick up cheap ones online like ebay or amazon for let's say a hundred dollars what you'll want to do first is actually sew the shoulders of the jacket base first. So that'll keep everything in shape if you actually sew your shoulder lines first. That'll keep anything from moving around. Then go around the sides, leave your arm curves open, and that's it guys. Honestly, I just showed you that in real time. So it shows that I do take it very slowly. I fasten it up here at a very good pace just to get the video along. But I just sew everything with the industrial grade sewing machine. Listen to a bit of music, watch a movie, it will help pass the time a lot so from here I just start to alter things I try it on maybe it was it was a lot bigger and baggier when we when I first tried it on like here you can see this is a pretty big jacket so I've sewn around all the sides the shoulders I've sewn the sleeves to the jacket and I'll fold it over here in half this is so that we can find our middle line so where we're going to be placing the zipper I'll just fold it in half and I'll just start to press in on that edge I can, I can use a mug if you want because if you do move your hand up and down fabric pretty quick, it does burn. Okay, so if you want to use a mug, a ruler, anything of a good weight and start to press down hard on that middle line, on that fold, it'll give you a line like this. It should indent it, you know, it'll just give you a definitive line, you don't have to draw or guesstimate anything. You can just cut up that line, again I'll fold it over, make sure I press into it and then that'll give me a perfect line to cut up. Okay, so this is just where the zipper is going to be placed. If you want to use this for any other pieces, you can do that. You'll always want to work from a good middle point and a pair of sharp scissors. So a really good pair of sharp scissors. Here for the collar, I just cut a curve. So around the neck area, you'll want to cut a curve, not a straight line, because it will flow around your neck better. I take the piece that I cut off, bring it over to the other side, and cut the exact same shape. Easy as that, guys. Honestly, if you want to just start to match up sides, Symmetry is the best form. So I'll just take it inside out, turn it inside out, try it on, and this is really big. My face does sort of say it all. I don't like it at the start, but I'm glad it fits. I'm glad the way it looks. You'll see me here look at the shoulder lines on the armpit, you know, the line from the armpit to the shoulder right there. And I see it doesn't match up. So what I'm going to be doing is actually just cutting these in, as I say, a bit more. I'll slim that in, and I'll make that fit a lot better. But the jacket, you can see, I'll just point it out here with my fingers, but I'll slim that in. The jacket does fit, so don't be put off, don't be distraught. I'll be, as I say, shortening this up. Like the new 52 Red Hood jacket, guys, go check out the designs. It is awesome. Please go check it out. That character is amazing. So right here, I'll just start to cut in the shoulder. So from the armpit to the shoulder, I'll cut in more of a diagonal curve line. So you can see I just cut a lot more out of it. I'll cut 
all that excess fabric that I don't need off of the sleeve. And yeah, guys, that's it. If you just want to, you know, keep mixing with the shape, if you want to keep mixing with the fit, go for it. Honestly, it's all up to you and what your shape and what your better fit is all down to. You can see now, once I will thin this in, it'll fit a lot better. It'll align a lot better with my body. Go for it. I will always say take the extra time, maybe the extra 20 to minutes, half an hour to alter all your pieces. And that's it, guys. Thank you so much for watching so far. And I'll just about to show you the zip. So right here, I've actually thinned it in a second time. I've cut it into the shoulder a bit more and it's actually made it a better fit. So again, if you want to go in and cut that a bit more, you can. And yeah, guys, I just cut off all the excess fabric. I have put on the zipper. The zipper is very easy to add on. It's just basically connecting it to the middle line. No magic about it. I cut off all the excess fabric here because I did thin in the actual, you know, the arms. I thinned in the sides. I thinned in the collar slightly and I made the shoulder line a bit smaller. Right here for the zipper, when I have the jacket on without it zipped up, it, it doesn't sit right. So what I'm going to be doing is just slightly gluing the zip over and onto the inside. This you don't have to do all the time, but it makes it a lot cleaner. I just take the small glue gun, place some glue on the inside and fold the zipper inside. That's all it is. It's just to make it look a lot cleaner. If you want to go with the extra mail and, you know, make this stuff look good, you know, for photo finish, completely up to you, I would always say take the extra time to make it nice and neat. You never know when you're going to have to show it off. And I always take pride in these jackets now. Usually when I did make them at the start, I didn't finish them off. I didn't really give them that nice clean cut. But now I am always worried about how it will look in the end process. It always turns out good for taking that extra time, taking the extra half an hour to an hour to clean it all up. It really does stand out. And during the process also, I wouldn't say leave any of this to the end process. I would always say, you know, clean it up as you go along. So that you maybe don't have to clean up anything in post it can be a really hard thing to do when you've already glued a piece onto something right here you can see i just hemmed in those sides as i went along this is for shortening it up i'm going to be just drawing a slight curve line along the bottom i'll be cutting all this excess fabric off i sorry about that hiccup right there if you want to make your shorter guys if you want to make it bigger completely up to you i just cut this design into the fabric fold it over so that i get a nice even cut all in all for both sides you'll want to match it up because it's a nice jacket right here it's it's pretty thin and you can see it has that nice ripple effect going around if you want to do more straight lines if you want to do the one definitive curve right here i am about melted at myself because it does look a bit wavy so what i'm going to be doing is cutting off that other excess curve and that's it i'll be finishing it all off at the end process i'll try it on for you now so that you can see what it looks like and it looks a lot better than the first time yeah, it looks a lot better than the first time. The shoulder lines match up, the arms are a bit thinner, so it's not that baggy, and the zipper just sips up like that. Honestly, it's perfect. Right here, I'll be thinning in the back, so all this excess fabric that I'm showing you right now in my hand, I'll be taking that in with the sewing machine just like that, and that'll make it nice and thin, make it a nice tight fit to my body and a personalized fit. You'll always want to maybe go that route, make it personalized to you. Guys, thank you so much for watching. This next part is... Something if you want to do, I'm going to be adding the red parts into the sleeve like he has in the Red Hood and the Outlaws New 52 design. He just has these red parts in the sleeve. So yeah, thank you so much for watching. Here we are with the rest of the video and you're awesome. Please let me know down below if this worked out for you.
So for this part, this is for the collar. So like I said before, keep your scraps like at the start of the video. You'll always want to keep the scrap pieces and I just made a simple template. I got a piece of fabric that I folded over and I knew had a good length that wrapped around my neck. So right here you can see I just test fit it, make sure it wraps around my neck and comes further out than the jacket. So it actually comes further out than the zipper so that we know that we can fold in enough excess fabric at the sides here to get an even you know at each side you'll always want to have a bit more so that you'll know it'll not be too small but right here just cut it a bit bigger it's a simple flat piece of fabric that i folded over and this is going to be for your nice stiff collar so a simple template if you want to take a piece of paper a piece of card but take your scrap pieces of fabric or whatever you're using put down your template piece and i'll just start to cut a more straighter edged template so anything you know for a collar you'll want to make sure that has nice straight edges if you want to go for a curve that's completely up to you i found that i did a curved edge on the star lord jacket and it didn't turn out the best so i want to go for a more pointed edge look and right here you can just see i have my template match it up on each side and i'll unfold that so this is what we're going to be using for the collar if you want to just double fold it over that just to make it that bit stiffer you know have it that bit more rigid it'll sit around your neck a bit better completely up to you guys i'm actually going to be folding it three times so that it actually does sit a bit more rigid and fold in the edges so what we're going to be doing here you can just say it's a flat piece of fabric this can be any shape any size like i said before i'm going to be folding it over three times so one two and three that makes it just that slight bit thinner but it is going to sit perfectly around my neck i didn't know how good this was going to turn out and i'm going to be sewing along the bottom just to make that nice clean cut so you can see along the bottom here I'll show you to the camera we have that nice seam line I just used a sewing machine and those edges we're going to be using some metal bolts for the shirt that's what I'm going to be doing for the collar these are button covers that can be picked up in art shops and yeah just lay the shirt down flat or your jacket down flat completely up to you around the collar edge you can see we have a nice curve line and you'll just want to take either a glue gun or whatever you're using a good adhesive and I'll place the jack the collar around the jacket. So around that line, you can just see here we'll match up that that size, and that's us. So just place some small amounts of glue around the edges, push to your collar to the collar line itself, and that's how I attach it. Completely up to you. I follow that nice curve line around the edge, and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching. I don't know what else to say at this point except watch yourself and watch your fingers with the glue gun. Honestly. Thank you so much for watching and I'll try the jacket on for you right now. You'll see it done. We'll add on the button covers. I'll tell you a bit more about those. I picked these up in an art shop. They come in various different sizes, small, bigger. You can see some there at the right hand side of the screen. They're, they come in different sizes. I glued these bigger ones here on each end of the collar because in the new 52 Red Hood design he has them, those big bolts on the end of the collar and I love how it looks. So I'll try it on for you guys now. And I love how this jacket turned out. The collar just sits so much straighter than my other than my other jackets. So the three layered approach works perfect. If you want to go for a double layer, if you want to go for four layers, as long as it sits nice and rigid along your neck and around your front. So hi everyone, this is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching and this jacket turned out so much better than what I thought. Let me hit mute on the TV. I do not want to get copyright. I'm watching from dusk till dawn the TV show. So yeah, the jacket turned out so much better. I'm using again, as I said, camel brown polyester. The collar, it, it just stiffened up. Honestly, thank God the three layer. I folded it over three times. The bolts add so much better. Usually on my old jacket, they were slouching over like that. But on this, they just sit up perfect along the collar line. And let's lift this up to show you. So yeah, pardon me. Yeah, hello and this is it you can add on like i showed you pockets if you want to add on some zippers if you want to add on some shoulder pieces it's completely up to you guys i have the red pieces here just you know on the sleeves like he has in the red hood on the outlaws comic in the new 52 love that him and roy just made the perfect team and everything look brilliant give me two seconds so yeah family member was calling me there Ah, uh, yeah i'll point the light up maybe that's a bit better i don't know i apologize for the lighting but this is the red hood on the outlaws jacket guys again if you want to go any kind of style with it so you want to make it darker if you want to make it out of leather i've tightened it up here at the back and i'm going to be adding on some pieces at the back 
so yeah completely up to you and whatever you do uh, I've seen a lot of people, you know, they use the leather jackets, and I'm going to bring it up, I think, a bit higher, you know, up to around here, because in the Outlaws, his does come to around here. I've added just a little tie here, so it looks like, you know, a fully fledged jacket. It does zip up in the middle, so if we just zip it up right here, that's it. The collar comes to a perfect shape, and yeah, guys, thank you again, as I say, so much for watching for me, everyone here at Ireland. I've been John Hay, trying to be... Jason Todd and please let me know down below if it worked. Please subscribe and comment. You're amazing. Always had your geek speak. And this has been me and the JT jacket. Bye guys. <laughs>